Happy New Year. Happy New Year is right. Well, I went to bed last night and woke up this morning, and this morning, a whole 2022 was a goner. And <laughs> good riddance as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it wasn't bad, but there were some things that uh, it could have been better. And so then the whole idea is that 2023 will be a better one than 2022. And that's what we're working towards. We did have our challenges, not only this just past year, but the years prior to that. Uh, if you'll remember clear back to 2014, uh, 2014, what happened then? Well, Initiative 594 um, became law in Washington State. We never thought that would happen. We said, oh, no, that's such a stupid law. Nobody would vote for that. Well, everybody did. And it became a law. Now we're stuck with 594. And then a few years later, 2018, uh, along comes Initiative 1639. And we said, oh, what a stupid law. Uh, that's no, Nobody would ever vote for that thing because that's just so, yeah, well, everybody did. And so that won by a landslide in, in 18. And so now we're faced with some new troubles coming up. And so uh, Governor Jay Inslee, State Attorney General Ferguson, uh, they've gotten together and they've got a whole new gun ban program coming up. And so we need to be aware of this and we're going to need to learn about it and do what we can to do something about it. And so it comes to our legislature uh, in about a week or so on the 9th of January. And so it's so important that the NRA is flying out to oppose this. And so when they try and initiate this on the 9th, uh, we think uh, representatives from the NRA will be there. Uh, to greet them with that. And so we hope they can do some good, but they can't do good without us. And so we certainly need to support the NRA. Uh, there's nobody else out there doing that kind of stuff. And so if we're going to support somebody, support them. Next, the Second Amendment Foundation centered right here in Bellevue, Washington. So we should support the Second Amendment Foundation because it's through their good work and their resources uh, that keeps our Second Amendment safe. And so, but another attack comes on our Second Amendment, coming right up. And so let me take a look at my notes and see what's on the Governor Ensley. Here's what he wants for that. A ban on all assault weapons. Wow, what's an assault weapon? Well, very cleverly, they already described that last time around with 1639. Any rifle with a semi-automatic action, including a Ruger 1022, I suppose, would be an assault rifle. And so there'll be a ban on assault rifles. So if you have one, they'll expect you to go down to the town square where they'll have a big dumpster and throw them all in the dumpster because they'll be banned. You may not possess, own, or have one. And so that's what they're counting on for that one. And that's not all of it. Let's look what else they want. Um, how about a permit to purchase? Yeah, you can't just go down, pass a background check, and buy a gun. You need to get a permit. You have to be permitted to make every single purchase. Wow. Each purchase would require a purchase permit. Hmm. And on comes registration and other things that would be highly unconstitutional. But it's not the first time that Washington State has pushed unconstitutional things and gotten them. Our very own Constitution, the Washington State Constitution, gives us the right to keep and bear arms, as does the federal Constitution, our national Constitution. Wow. But they're not opposing, they're not upholding that. It goes to show you that I guess that the government can come along and do what they want. If unopposed, it still goes on. So a permit to purchase. The next idea is that they'd like to make all firearm manufacturers and all firearm sellers, that could be me and you, liable for anything that happens to that firearm after it leaves our hands. And so if somebody buys it from us or buys it from a manufacturer, either way, uh, and uses it negligently or inappropriately, um, wow, then the liability comes back to the seller or the manufacturer or both. Uh, some states on the East Coast have tried that idea and it got struck down, but now he wants to do it here. Is it unconstitutional? Yes, you bet it is. Is that going to slow him down? Doesn't seem to be. And so we can slow him down by making our voices heard in a respectful and responsible way. And so all this is coming up, and so we're going to cover this in far more detail in one of our Zoom Room classes. And so uh, today is New Year's Day, and so that Zoom Room will be tomorrow, that's January the 2nd, at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time here in Washington State. 
And so by all means, please join us. And so if you join us then, it'll be easy just to come along. Just tune in to listen to the conversation. If you'd like to be part of the conversation, be part of the conversation. But we need to talk about this and make our voices heard and do something. If we do nothing, I can guarantee you the results. We didn't do much with 594, and it passed easily. We didn't do much with 1639, and it passed easily. If we remain quiet for this one, it will pass easily, whether or not it's constitutional or not. They'll fight about that later. But we'll suffer the problems with it as we are suffering the problems with 1639 and way back to 594. And so please join us in our Zoom room. And so all you have to do is we'll get a free invite for anybody that would like to be there. And so send me an email personally, and I'll make sure you get the Zoom link in time for tomorrow's meeting. And so send it to me. It's jb at oldschoolgunschool.com. That email will come straight to me. I'll get you in the system and make sure that you get an invite to join us tomorrow at 7 o'clock. I hope to see everybody there. And for goodness sakes, Happy New Year, everyone.